Let's talk about some FBLA Arizona awards. FBLA Arizona awards consist of Administrator of the Year, a nomination of a Business or Community Person of the Year, Advisor of the Year, and Best New Advisor of the Year. This awards give members the opportunity to show your appreciation for the advisors you know and love. If you want to give some recognition to a leader who has inspired you, I encourage you to nominate them for the corresponding award. These nominations will be due March 18th, 2021. For those seniors out there, let's talk about FBLA Arizona's scholarships. Now, we all know that college can be super expensive, so FBLA Arizona wants to reward your hard work. Last year, we awarded over $12,000 in scholarships, and this year we are looking to triple it. The criteria for this award will consist of financial need, academic performance, and impact within the community. The deadline for this application will be due March 2021. Be on the lookout on the FBL Arizona website for the form. Best of luck. So let's talk about running for state office. Serving as a state officer is one of the biggest honors a member can have. If you love this amazing organization, I strongly encourage you to run for state office. This allows you to impact your organization while getting once in a lifetime experiences. Leading your state chapter is a dream of many members and you never know when you can make that dream into a reality. The application process consists of attaining a letter of recommendation from your advisor, getting signatures from your parents and principal, writing a personal motivational statement and resume. Once you have submitted that, you will need to schedule an interview at the available times. The interview will consist of three parts, a group interview, a test, and finally an individual interview with our state advisor, Ms. Goodman. 14 candidates will be picked from the interviews to campaign at state. On the last day of state, nine candidates will be elected to become the next state officer team. Here's a few tips. Serve as a local chapter officer within your chapter. Find something you want to make better within FBLA Arizona. Participate in any FBLA activities slash events you are available to. Participate in interview events and practice with your peers. Attend a state officer workshop. We have many at our regionals and flex conferences. And be yourself. Best of luck. Now let's discuss chapter awards. You can think of chapter awards almost like the Olympics. You have bronze, silver, and gold. In order to become a bronze chapter, you must have chapter bylaws, a program of work on record at the state office, at least five paid members, have a local chapter officer team, at least four meetings in the school year. In order to achieve silver, you must meet all of the bronze requirements, plus participate in at least two FBLA Arizona events, have at least 10% of your chapter complete a BAA, complete an FBLA scrapbook for the state, conduct a chapter community service project, and create a chapter budget. And finally, the gold level requires you to have completed bronze and silver requirements, plus recruit an administrator to attend an FBLA event, have at least 5% of your members achieve a CSA, have at least 25% of your members achieve a BAA, conduct an FBLA PR presentation that contributes $100 for an Arizona scholarship or $175 to sponsor an event at the State Leadership Conference. And finally, you must complete a National FBLA Chapter Award. Best of luck to all the chapters in Arizona.